Hi, this is Pamela. I'm just going to be doing a journal walkthrough for these two journals that I created for my aunt and my cousin. I created these journals quite quickly. I only have three signatures in each journal. The journal that has the bumblebee is my auntie's and the journal that has the fox seal is my cousin. My aunt came for a visit from all the way across the country and I decided I wanted to send her home with these journals so then I took a very short amount of time to create these journals. I covered the covers with paper and the spines are covered with fabric. The burgundy fabric I ended up having to paint because I didn't like the color of the fabric originally so I used watered down acrylic paint to create the color that I liked. It was very painstaking but worth it. So I'm first going to show my cousin's journal. On the inside I have this tartan with gray and burgundy that matches the spine. I have a little pocket and a library card. Here's another little pocket I created with a book page that I added napkin to and it creates a nice little pop of kind of spring colors. I have a journaling card. That piece of paper right there was originally like fluorescent pink and when I coffee stained it it went this very interesting color. I very much enjoy the way it turned out. I have ledger paper in here and this card I made with book paper, napkins, and inktense pencils. The dragonflies. I really enjoy the way these turned out. And there's a spot to journal on on the back. This little, so this is blue coffee dyed paper with a doily motif and this is an actual doily that I cut out and I stuck on to this page and put this woman here because it sort of reminds me of my cousins and my Grammy and Grammy would crochet beautiful blankets and things for all of our her grandkids there's another one of those book pages that I Mod Podge napkin flowers to and used intense pencil crayons on. I really like the way it turned out. That is a Tim Holtz piece of paper that I made into like a little folder. There's some more coffee dyed paper and I just folded it in. This is an index card that I fused napkin with plastic wrap and then I made it look like it's been through a bit in life there's a little tip in another one there's that hot pink that's not so hot but still beautiful as an Edith Holden page and some other lined paper this uh, was sort of like a little belly band idea this house is from graphics fairy and then there's a little postcard thing from graphics fairy that I could just slide in just wanted to try something different. There's a little card. I just put this little embellishment on this page. It just looks interesting. It's got a butterfly. So I embellished that butterfly with Mod Podge.
Here's some more interesting papers throughout. Lots of space to add things to. There's another one of those index card napkin. That's another Edith Holden page. Coffee dye and it's folded in. It looks like some of our grandmother's old doilies. That's a bright yellow. I think it was fluorescent yellow as well that I coffee dyed and it turned out like that. I really like the way it turned out. And then I just have my handmade with love sticker and some Tim Holtz found relatives. I didn't even know that we were related to these guys too. Little pocket in the back. I got to see some of my cousins. Um, she messaged me and she showed me some of the things that she was putting in her journal and she was really happy with it. And it was really fun to see people doing, uh, using the journal that I created for them. So there is my cousin's journal. And now my auntie's journal. Same idea with the closure and it's paper that I put on um, book covers and the same that lady there sort of my aunt really enjoys so my aunt really enjoys Downton Abbey and I added that just as a little reminder of that for her. She also loves Outlander, hence the tartan. There's another one of those book pages with napkin over it and I made a pocket and added some cards in this front area. And there is that other, it's the same ideas before book page napkins ink tents mod podge how can you go wrong i love how dreamy this page looks actually how fun it looks like the dragonflies are dancing around and then i have another doily so that's my auntie's mom. Was the maker of beautiful things. So I have in here as well, the coffee dyed paper and different things like that. Altered paper clips. Oh, I added this guest check because my auntie enjoys going out to dinner, so I thought that would be fun a uh, place to write something about a great dinner that she was having or whatever. And then another one of those little embellishments with a butterfly. Edith Holden paper. More butterflies. A little journaling card another one of those um belly band house pass through things with the cards just a fun different way of doing things some tickets to what i don't know mm, this is another index card with a napkin and it's been distressed with some distress ink 
there's that bright yellow and the bright pink there it's actually really cool to see how pages change when you do the coffee dyeing I'm not entirely sure where this paper came from it came from my local store but I don't know who made the paper or I would definitely give credit. That's uh, another graphics fairy. That page is another, I think it was purple. There's Edith Holden. And there's another one of those book pages with napkin and ink tents. It looks really cool. I'm going to do some more of that. Edith Holden, coffee dyed, ledger paper. I think what I was referring to with that, that paper is um, the Downton Abbey again. And that one is Outlander. Just a little nod to Jamie and that lady's playing shy I think that's Sassanac everybody knows what I'm talking about who knows Outlander a little journaling card this is a Tim Holtz page and I made a little folder a little little spot to put things that's another one of those index cards some tickets little journaling card ledger paper a little tip in and we're at the end our handmade with love our found relatives that we didn't know about that's Tim Holtz and there is that journal and I thank you so much for your time thank you for getting to the end of this video please consider subscribing please take a look in the description box to find me in other social areas as well as my Etsy shop I thank you so much for your time. Have an amazing day. Take care, everybody.